Would you ever want to go into politics? No. <laughs> it's becoming a really thankless job, so I understand why. But I just wish that I saw more people in position of leadership talking about accountability and and humanity and behavior and all of these things that are so much a part of the human experience. And for me and my money, I think you are a perfect ambassador to that because there's also the wrestling and the cool and the fun and you're in comedies and you're all the things. So I'm like, okay, if you're all the things and you care about self-reflection and accountability too, I'm like, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I don't want it a la carte. I want the combo plate. Well, uh, thank you very much for saying that. Uh, here's, here's my perspective on that. Um, if, if you are so influenced by this and other people one by one are influenced by that, you don't need a political figure to be a catalyst for change. We live in such a great society that people can orchestrate change. And we are in the current state of where we are because this is essentially our attitude. Um, so what, what can I control if I'm upset with that? I can control how I behave. And if how I behave is influential on other people, maybe it affects you, maybe it affects you, and maybe it affects you. And then one by one, one person at a time, we have the ability to, to voice ourselves as people. Do you go to therapy? I, I don't, I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> well, you are very good. You should pay yourself a lot of money. I, said, I, I owe you for the time. It's true. Okay, how did you, how did you meet your wife? Uh, we were both in a place where we shouldn't, we, we weren't supposed to be. I went out to see a friend uh, watch the Super Bowl, and I told him I wanted to watch it in my apartment because I didn't want to jinx the Patriots. And my fandom of me not leaving my apartment would make sure that they won, but he forced my hand and I went out to, to see him. And uh, she was in a part of town where she never frequents, but she had some random people come in to see her internationally and they're like, hey, let's go to one more place. So it was a truly like a happy accident. And we immediately had an attractive spark, but- uh, Did your pupils dilate? <laughs> Full dilation. Full dilation? <laughs> Cool. Yeah. At what point did you say, I really want to be with this person? When we had long, honest discussions about who we are, what we enjoy, what we believe, what we want out of life, what we hope to accomplish in this life, uh, what things make us mad, what things make us happy. Um, how we live, our habits, uh, honest, long conversations about everything. And that led us to be like, we are both extremely attracted to each other, but we're, we're, you know, I, I'm, I met her, we, we've been together for five years now, so she, she had lived her life, I lived mine. It's not like this was a, a, the, the first instance of, man, my body's changing and things are getting weird. <laughs> uh, the attraction was very strong, so um, after those conversations, I'm like, man, I just, I just met my best friend. I love my best friend, and boy, she rocks my world. So this is this is one I can't. And I'm attracted to my best friend and as I, my fully realized self, and yeah. it's the right time. I'm so glad. I mean, me that, too. That I'm, is. <laughs> I've loved my life. I'm super happy. I got a, a wonderful partner. <laughs> Spend my life with, so I'm, I'm super happy too. Okay, I'm actually headed to WrestleMania um, at this year. The 40th installment of WrestleMania.